To register for classes in Employee Self-Service, also known as ESS, log on to the staff portal on the My SPS website. On the right-hand side, under Links and Resources, click on the Employee Self-Service link, labeled ESS slash MSS. Please note, ESS can only be accessed from computers within the district and performs best when used in Internet Explorer. The home screen may display after you log on. To view the Employee Self-Service options, click on the Employee Self-Service tab in the upper left-hand corner. The Training and Events link is where you can browse current course offerings, register for a class, or view courses you have attended in the past. To register for a class, click on Training and Events. For course registration, click on Training Center. The Training Center search template will appear. If you know the exact title of the course, you can type it in the Find area. However, often the most efficient way to find a course is to use the drop-down menu to select the subject area of the course you are looking for. If you do not know the subject area, you can leave it as All Subjects. All Subjects is best if you would like to browse all available course offerings. The default for period is one month as of today. If you are searching for a course that is more than one month from the day you are searching, use the drop-down menu to change the period to future as of today. You can also filter by location. Click the Start Search button. The hit list will be displayed below. You can resize the columns by grabbing and dragging the edge of the column. By doing this, the entire title of the course can be viewed. You can sort by clicking in the heading that you would like to sort. In the Places column, you can see whether or not there is still space available in a course. A green light means spaces are still available. A red light means you can be added to a waitlist. To view additional details about a specific course, click on the name of a business event. Here you can see the general description, time schedule, number of free places left in the course, and the number of registered attendees. If the course is full, you can see how many are already on the waitlist. If this is not the course you want, you can view full course details about other courses in your hit list by clicking the directional arrows or click the back button in the lower left. Do not use your browser's back button as it will take you all the way back out to the main employee self-service menu. Once you find the course you want to attend, click Add to Basket. You can do this from either the Hit List screen or the Detailed Course Description screen. This will take you directly to your shopping basket where you can check out. This screen will display any courses you have added to your shopping basket. Just like shopping online, there are a few more clicks before you are fully registered. First, click Proceed to Booking. Next, click Book Business Event. Finally, you will arrive at the My Booking screen. There you will see the class you just registered for displayed at the top of the list. You will not receive an email confirmation of your registration. On the right of any future course on your bookings list, you will see the word cancel. Don't panic, the course has not been canceled. This is where you can cancel your attendance if your plans have changed and you are no longer able to attend. After you click cancel, you must confirm your cancellation by clicking Cancel Attendance below. At any time, you can confirm or cancel classes you have registered for and view classes you have attended in the past by going to Training and Events in ESS and clicking on My Bookings. We look forward to seeing you at a course in the near future.